bringing the arts to all ages across the city of Colorado Springs is the idea of City as a Venue, a summer-long series made possible by the Fine Arts Center. So right now, Sarah, live and local downtown for a preview of this program and all the fun events which happened this summer. Sarah, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. We are on the main stage now, joined once again by Nathan Halverson, the Associate Director of Performing Arts for the FAC Theater Company, and also Ella Dill. You are with the Youth Rep Ensemble. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. So tell us about the Youth Rep Ensemble, and also you guys are getting ready for the next show. Yeah, so the Youth Rep Ensemble is in its 23rd year. Uh, it is a musical theater intensive for high school students interested in looking at the performing arts as a career track. It's five weeks long, it's five days a week, it's eight hours a day. The students take classes, anything from fight choreography to dance to scene study to voice and movement, and then they rehearse for a show that we put on the main stage at the end of July. Okay, and auditions, right? It is an audition based camp okay. um, that we usually do the auditions in the spring. So the, the acting track is, com is complete for this summer. Okay. But I encourage uh, students who are interested to come see the show and see what we do so they can get in on the action next year. Love it. And so for 14 to 18, you can be in there for five years just like Ella has been. Tell us a little bit about your experience and kind of why you would recommend this program to other teens. Um, well, one of the things that is really special about Youth Rep is the community that arises from having such an intense uh, program. So you have a bunch of people who are your age and who are really excited about what you're excited about. And it creates a really cool atmosphere to be able to learn and really get into it. Great. And so you just graduated. Congratulations to you. Thank Where you. are you off to next? I'm going to Birmingham Southern College and I'm studying music there. Great, I asked her to sing for me and she said no. <laughs> I'm really sad, I'm gonna have to come see the show. So we're really excited for that as well. When is the show happening? The show is July 28th to the 31st. Um, we are repurposing the set from The Legend of Georgia McBride. That's why it looks like this right now, <laughs> to turn it into something totally different for this summer. Great, and you were gonna show me something, correct? Uh, yeah, so okay. one of the things that we do in Youth Rep is we do dance classes. Ooh. And so I think my second year we did a tap number. Oh, love and it. And something fun about tap that you can just sort of impress people with is a time step. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you how to do a time step right now. Great. That's okay. Absolutely. Okay, so you're doing, <laughs> I'm not really a tapper, I just do this. So what you do, you brush your foot back there, okay? You hop. Hop. Wait, right. And then step down. Step. Full lap here. And stomp twice. Something, Ella. I did a little tap in my back in my oh, day. Yeah? I do you did, have any girlfriend. Uh, it didn't bring my tap shoes today. Otherwise, it's okay. You know, it's okay. We'll show it to you some other time. Well, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. you for joining us. Thank you, Nathan. Of as course. always, Craig, Abby. We are going to toss it back to you in studio. <laughs> I want to see Sarah tap because she can tap dance. She can. Yes. She's shown us little pieces here and there. there. You bring go. the shoes. There you go. Shuffle ball change. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. That's just a little taste. There Very nice. That Thanks. goes blown away. Like, whoa. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. All right, good stuff. <laughs> well, making the arts more accessible in Colorado Springs, the Fine Arts Center is excited to bring back its City as a Venue Summer Series. So right now, Sarah, live and local downtown and talking all about the program, plus what your family can expect. Sarah, good morning. Well, good morning, Craig and Abby. We are back outside getting some fresh air on this lovely, beautiful day. Joined once again by Lisa Marie Rollins, the director of The Wolves, and also one of the actors here, Kelly Ng. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Of we course. really are happy to be here. Of <laughs> course. So tell us real quickly, uh, for maybe people who have missed this morning, uh, about The Wolves and when they can come down and see it. The Wolves is a play by Sarah DeLapp. It's an off-Broadway play that has been around for a little while. And the play is uh, follows a high school championship team on be right before six games when they're about to go out and play and all of the, the conversations that happen right before those games happen. Okay, and so you have a mix of CC students here, but also actors that you've brought in. 
Yeah, we have, um, this is one of the first collaborations between, surprising, between the Colorado <laughs> College and the Fine Arts Center. And so we were able to give uh, some opportunity to the Colorado College theater students and also to have them be um, participating and working with out of town professional actors. And one of those actors is <laughs> Kelly Ng, who's Kelly. here with us. Hi, so tell us a little bit about you and kind of your involvement with the Wolves. Yeah, so um, hello, my name is Kelly Ng. <laughs> I'm from New York City. I'm actually a New York native from Queens, and wow. I found this opportunity online via Actors Access. I just submitted myself, figure, hey, why not? I love the wolves. I've read the play many a times. I actually missed it when I was originally off Broadway just because I couldn't get tickets. <laughs> it was sold out yeah. so many times. <laughs> so I'm just so happy to be able to do this production, especially with these lovely people right behind me and so many more of our cast members. Um, it's been an extravagant performance and we're doing it outside, which is a first. <laughs> so have you played soccer before this play? Um, when I was in fourth grade. Okay, so a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been a while, but we're brushing up, I'd say. That's a same as me too. You know, me and my brother would always do competitions who can juggle the most. And of course I tried really hard to beat him. So that's the only thing I know from soccer. I've actually never played either. Nice. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. I'm going to come over here, talk to a couple more of the actors. You may recognize Ella over here. She's one of the youth ensemble. So tell us how cool is it now that you get to actually act in the Wolves? Um, it's great. So, I mean, youth rep like really prepares you for being a professional like mm -hmm. the teachers treat you like professionals and expect that same respect back yeah. so um i mean it's really awesome to be able to be in a space like this where you're really expected to be a professional and you know what you're doing great well hey thank you so much for joining us thank you all appreciate you craig and abby and matt we're going to toss it back to you in studio all right, yeah, sounds good. Thank very you. talented people there. I, I, they they play soccer. They act. <laughs> that's a lot of good. That's public more, speak. Yeah. Yeah. Very more than talented. I can do. <laughs> Bringing the arts to all ages across the city of Colorado Springs what? is the idea of City as a Venue, a summer long series made possible by the Fine Arts Center. So right now, Sarah is still live and local uh, downtown for a preview of this program and all the events, the fun events, which will happen this summer. Sarah, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. We are inside a new exhibit here, joined right now by Michael Cristiano, the Director of Visual Arts and Museum. Kind of a sensitive subject here that we're talking mm -hmm. about, but one that is important to talk about. So tell us a little bit about where we're at right now. Sure. So we're in a new exhibition at the Fine Arts Center, uh, Floyd D. Tunson, Hearts and Minds. Open May 6th, runs through July 9th, and it is anchored by a work of art by a local artist who is incredibly significant to our community, Floyd D. Tunson. Um, that addresses issues of, of gun violence. So as, as part of this exhibition, um, and this is Floyd's work here, as you can see it's a monumental work that the artist made between 1993 and 1995 um, that is, um, you know, sad to say, increasingly relevant or as relevant today as it was when it was produced. Uh, it was given to the museum by the artist very um, generously, and this is the first opportunity we've had to, to show it. Great. Uh, yeah. And also CT students responding to this with their own artwork. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So this was an opportunity for us to not just show Floyd's work, but to engage our uh, community in responding to the issues that the work of art raises. So, so what you're seeing now are a series of works created by Colorado College students, both students who are enrolled in courses here and students who produce work on their own. And then we also engaged a group of uh, students and high, sc high school students and educators from District 11, who were in residence here at the Fine Arts Center for three weeks Great. to talk about art, make art of their own. Great, and as we're walking out here to see the other artwork from another CC student, tell us a little bit about Endangered and oh, yeah. what all that is. Yeah, happy to, to do so. So we are uh, hosting a newly commissioned uh, kind of immersive concert experience here at the Fine Arts Center on June 17th and June 18th called Endangered. Uh, it is a collaborative project made by Tomas Donker, who's out of New York, and his band, the True Groove All-Stars. Pulitzer Prize winning uh, poet Yusef Komunyaka. Um, that's all inspired by the work of Floyd Tunson. So it'll be kind of a, a sonic multimedia experience that's engaging with the issues 
that Floyd's work raises. Uh, that'll be both tough and engaging and joyous and revelatory. So we're really excited to host this here at the Fine Arts Center. Um, and we're hoping that our community comes out uh, to experience this alongside us. Great, and this exhibit was produced by a CC student. Yeah, so the work we're studying in now is a, a thesis project for a Colorado College student, Lanaya Moon, okay. um, who is both responding to Floyd's work and thinking about how she as an artist and a creative can help shape space. So it's, it's kind of interactive, you can move through it, you can engage with the different objects that are embedded on the artwork. Um, and it's just another opportunity for us to, to hopefully put artists into dialogue with one another and then into, into conversation with our community. Michael, thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate you for joining us this morning. Of course, you gotta come down and check out the exhibit for yourself, see Endangered. It sounds Please. like it's gonna be so much fun. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us. Yeah, pleasure, thanks for coming. Of course, so Greg and Abby, we're gonna toss it back to you guys in studio. Okay, Sierra, good stuff. Thank you so much. Time right now, it is 8.30. Well, making the arts more accessible at Colorado Springs, the Fine Arts Center is excited to bring back its City as a Venue Summer Series. So right now, Sierra, live and local near downtown, talking all about the program with what your family can expect. Sierra, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. We are once again joined by Nathan Halverson, the Associate Director of Performing Arts, and also Michael Cristiano over here, the Director of Visual Arts and Museum. Did I get both those right? You, you, oh, 100%. there we go. Yeah. 100%. It's because the sun's out. We're uh -huh. feeling good. Got some fresh air. Thank you both again for joining me this morning. My pleasure. Of course. <laughs> so, Nathan, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about City as a venue and what people can expect this summer. Well, yeah, we have stuff everywhere. Uh, right now, we have the wolves running in our courtyard here at the Fine Arts Center through June 26. You don't want to miss that. Not actual wolves running through the courtyard. Just the wolves. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is wolves running through the courtyard. You got to keep them guessing. I love no. it. Look at the website. You'll know. You'll find out what it's really about. Um, uh, and we also have summer camp running for the next nine weeks for ages five through eighteen. Plenty of registration available for that as well. And we have city as a venue projects like the Front Range Fables going around the city all summer. Great and beautiful views of Pikes Peak. Holy cow! Right over this tree over here. Beautiful museum to look at. Of course. Hey. Free museum days coming up too. Free museum days. <laughs> we are free at the Fine Arts Center Museum every second Saturday. Great. And then every third Friday, and of course on first Fridays. So we want folks to come to visit, visit again, bring your friends, bring your family, <laughs> spend some time with us. We'd love to have you. Great. I really did not mean to put you in the sun. I know I'm baking. <laughs> I'm really this sorry. is what I do for you. It's all love. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So if people have never been to the Fine Arts Center, I mean, what would you tell them to sign up for an event or just come check it out? I would say you said it already. You should come check it up. Check it out because the art is for everyone, right? Yeah. We are the cultural center of the city. Please come visit us and experience the beautiful things that we do through art making and the museum and the school and the theater. I mean, it's 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 where it's at. Great. And Youth Ensemble is oh, coming yeah, up with the show. Ensemble. We have a show opening July 28th. We've got 38 students from 14 different high schools around the area coming together to put on a show this summer. Great. Well, thank you for being a great sport this morning with the sun just of beaming course. down. <laughs> I love it. Thank you both so much again for joining us. Greg and Abby, we're going to toss it back to you and get in some shade. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks, Sarah. Thank Sarah. You.